Welcome to this Car Gurus UK video in which we are going to talk about why this, the FN2 Honda Civic Type R, is one of the best value used hot hatches that you can buy. Now, for the uninitiated, Honda has always done its own thing with the Civic Type R. It's why, over five generations, it's maintained such a disparate character to arguably more generic alternatives. For a start, Honda has always stuck with the scrappy front-wheel drive layout when a lot of others were going for more power and four-wheel drive. And I think that's why it's managed to maintain such a cult following over the years. Before we start talking about the nuances of why this FN2 Type R in particular is such a great used buy, here is a quick reminder to give this video a like, hit subscribe and turn on notifications by ringing the little bell icon so you'll know when our new films go live. Once you have done that, just look at how cool this thing looks. When this car was launched in 2007, it was such a futuristic looking thing. Really, really radical design. That bar across the rear window, the really short front overhang, the wedge shape, the whole thing just looks really cool and really fresh even today, I think, especially in the three door body shape that you have to have if you go for the Type R. Anyway, enough looking at it, let's go and drive it. When this car first arrived, a lot of people lost their minds about the torsion beam rear suspension, which Honda maintained is lighter, more affordable, all of that stuff. But a lot of people really wanted it to have the independent suspension that the EP3 model had. The EP3 being the generation before this one, and in many people's opinion, the best of all the Type R's. Do you know what? Forget about that, because twist beam or not, this thing is great. It's got some serious gumption about it, this car. It really sort of flings itself into corners. It's got loads of grip, really nice throttle response, really lovely sort of oily, very natural feeling steering. And it's just got that very distinct character to it, the Type R. It doesn't feel like anything else. And the chief reason for that is the engine. And that really is the heart of this car. Two litres, 198 brake horsepower, and 0 to 62 in only 6.6 .6 seconds, but you don't really care because it's the way this thing delivers its power. So it's only got 146 foot-pounds of torque, and that turns up at 5,600 RPM. But it keeps going to 7,800 RPM, this car, and it is astonishing. It's so good. And I mean, it's why you buy this car, because that really elastic, really sort of long-winded delivery is just such a breath of fresh air compared to a lot of the turbocharged engines of today. It absolutely sings this car. I mean, everything just gels, you know? Even the pedal placement. The throttle response is lovely. You can heel and tow it really nicely. It is a complete, just, it's just so much fun. And if it's good to drive, it is good to own as well. All of the Civics have a reputation for reliability and the FN2 is no exception. Worn synchros on the gearbox can have it jumping out of gear and a squeaky clutch would be the clutch release bearing, which Honda did recall, but it's still a recurring issue, if thankfully one that's an easy fix. Otherwise, just try to avoid any that have been heavily modified and check that the tyres match and aren't worn. Someone who's looked after their car properly will have put good quality tyres on all round. Although even the early FN2 Type R's were well equipped and now great value, it is worth going for a facelifted 2009 model that got a limited slip diff and Bluetooth. This is not an easy living hot hatch and I will tell you the first reason why is because the ride on this thing is firm. I mean it's really firm, there's not very much forgiveness in it at all. Not only that but the driving position as well, it just forces you to have a particular position that you might not like so you have to have the steering wheel very low in order to see the speedo which is above the steering wheel. You actually feel a bit too high as well, I'd quite like the seat to go a bit lower. So provided you're willing to make those compromises you could live with this every day and it really is great value for money and a lot of fun. However, if you have got kids to think about, then you might want to have a look at some of the five door options because getting in and out of the back of this could get pretty tiresome. If you're not worried about that, then the Civic has got enough rear passenger space to get a couple of adults in comfortably, and the boot is a good size and has a useful underfloor storage area. While the dash has rather outlandish, swoopy design and a big red start button, it is perfectly easy to use. While the driving position is a bit awkward with that high level speedo and a seat that could do with dropping a bit lower, the seat itself is deep, supportive and really comfortable. 
And that's about it really. We would recommend any of the Civic Type R generations. Actually, the later FK2 is really interesting given that it drives like and looks like a touring car. But on balance of fun per pound and availability, this is unbeatable. Even next to the more bullish Focus ST and the much easier living Golf GTI, this generation of the Civic Type R definitely gets the proper enthusiast vote. Whichever Type R takes your fancy, even if it's one of the rare Mugen models or the short-lived FN2, there are loads of great used examples for sale on cargurus.co.uk, which is the place to go to find great deals from top-rated dealers. And before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on so you will never miss one of our videos.